When you use a newsletter tool, you don't want to spend much time watching tutorials to learn how to use it. After all, you are a creative person and want to spend time expressing yourself by creating stuff. That's why Beehive was created. Now you can stop juggling tools and just use Beehive for your blog and newsletter. But what makes Beehive special and how they are changing the newsletter industry? First, Beehive will allow you to sit down at your computer and let your imagination run wild as you craft your next newsletter. You can go from opening an account to start writing your first newsletter in less than 5 minutes. How's that even possible? The simple answer is that you don't need any coding or technical skills to use Beehive. It's almost like magic. And speaking of magic, don't be fooled by thinking that Beehive is only for beginners or hobby newsletters. The team at Beehive released two successful case studies of newsletters starting on Beehive, growing to more than 100,000 subscribers and selling their newsletter. So just because Beehive is simple doesn't mean they are basic. In fact, they have plenty of features you will love as a professional. If you are enjoying this video, drop a like to show your appreciation. What you will like more than the good tools of Beehive are their prices. Beehive prices are changing the market and making creators consider leaving their current newsletter tools to move to Beehive. With most newsletter tools, prices go up the more subscribers you have. But on Beehive it's different. There are three plans and their prices are fixed. This makes Beehive cheaper than competitors if you have over 10,000 subscribers. In fact, Beehive could raise their prices by 25% and still be cheaper than the competition. That's what I call a good deal. But better than saving money is earning money. And on Beehive they put a lot of effort into allowing you to earn money with your creations in two ways. Charging memberships for newsletter access is the standard we know from other tools like Substack. But the best part is earning extra money without doing extra work. This is possible with Beehive's advertisement network. Here they connect creators with advertisers inside the platform to facilitate sponsorships. Besides all this good stuff, later in the video I will address that not everything is sunshine and rainbows with Beehive. But continuing to address the good stuff, Beehive allows you to make as much money as you want without worrying about the platform bullying you into giving them money. Let's admit it, nobody likes to pay fees. It stinks when you work hard to earn money just to have the platform take 5-10% to away from you. This doesn't feel right to me. And on Beehive this won't happen. I repeat, Beehive will not take a percentage from your revenue. It sounds like Substack should learn a thing or two from Beehive. Now, moving to customization, here I have mixed feelings about Beehive. First, when you are looking at email aesthetics, you will feel like a kid playing in an airplane cockpit with so many buttons to press. This gives complete freedom to make your newsletter unique while still feeling easy to use. But on the other side, the website aspect of Beehive looks boring. The team options are limiting and they look unoriginal and almost like a copy of Substack. I expect Beehive to release more website themes really soon as I see this as the biggest weakness. And since I'm talking about weaknesses, let's open Pandora's box. One of my biggest complaints is the lack of code injection. Because of this limitation you cannot do advanced stuff like embedding code from other sources on your Beehive website. This is a thing that will only bother some advanced users, although this is still annoying as hell to me. Another complaint I have is with their terms of service. There is one line in the Beehive Terms of Service that's worrying, which is their ability to terminate an account for any or no reason at all. I know this is standard in most services and even Ghost and Substack have similar clauses. To be fair, I don't know about any case of Beehive abusing this clause and deleting someone's account for no reason. It would be a terrible business decision with lasting consequences if they did that. As creators, we should raise our voices against such clauses, but that's a long discussion for another video. Now, after all this, do I recommend Beehive? Yes, I do recommend using Beehive. They are a great platform with many strong points and very few flaws. Beehive has shown the ability to fix its issues and keep improving to become one of the best newsletter tools. However, if you can't afford one of Beehive paid plans, it's better for you to use the free plans of ConvertKit or MailerLite because Beehive puts most of the good stuff on the paid plans. If you think Beehive is the right choice for you, sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.